we start, it's important to consider safety when working with any electrical product. Make sure power is isolated before you start. Switching it off at the wall may not be enough. Make sure it's isolated at the consumer unit. Do this at least two hours before you start work. The fan has capacitors inside it which can remain charged for one to two hours after power is isolated. They can generate electric shocks. So that's the reason for leaving it a long period of time. And also light fittings can get very hot. Uh, so let them cool down for a couple of hours at least before you start work. If you're in any doubt or have any concerns at all, then don't touch the ceiling fan and get a qualified electrician in to do the job for you. Okay, uh, we are going to demonstrate now how to install the M3 remote control receiver into the Fantasia ceiling fan. Uh, Lee's going to do that for us. I am just going to verify that the power's off, very importantly, before we start. So first we slide the aerial if it's attached to the remote receiver and the receiver into the um, hanger bracket just above the, the, um, the ball. So these are, these are the wires coming out of the, the top of the, the rod on the ceiling fan. That's the uh, fan live, light live and the neutral for fan and light. So we're going to pop those into their respective connector points. Neutral, in with neutral, making sure not to bite the plastic on the on the wires, otherwise you'll get a bad connection and you may find the receiver not working. Then we pop in the orange wire. Get the brown wire in now, and the brown wire from the remote control. Okay, so the fan side of the receiver is now connected, and now Lee's going to connect up the incoming household live. Blue wire goes to neutral. Very handy, it's labelled on there as well. AC in, live, and uh, it's got little tags there, which is quite useful, so you can see, you know. Neutral in, AC. Here we go, we're gonna pop the live on there as well. Okay, so that's how you install the M3 remote control receiver into uh, the canopy of a Fantasia ceiling fan. And now we'll show you how to program it and also how to troubleshoot it should you need to. Okay, so programming the M3 remote system. Uh, straight out of the box, it will work. Handset will communicate with the receiver, but you may want to change the code on which it's operating. So if we just switch the power on for a moment, and we can see at the moment, the light comes on and off, and the fan starts up. So that is working straight out of the box. I'll just turn that off. And so now we want to recode to a new code for the, a new frequency for the M3 remote system. So if we could go power off and then power on, and then I hold down the off button, the black box button, and you will see on the fan, the light flashes twice. I then release the off button and now uh, the remote control is operating on a new frequency. It's as simple as that. Uh, still operational on light and I'll turn the fan down or turn the fan up or do whatever I want. Okay, just turn that off again. The fan is now on a new frequency. We may want to bring it back to factory settings if we're having a problem troubleshooting, whatever. 
Same process, it's just holding the off button down for longer and waiting for a second set of flashes from the right. If we go power off and then power back on, and again, hold down the off button, looking at the light on the fan itself. That's one set of double flashes. And we're waiting for the second set of double flashes, and there it is. And after the second double flash, we release. The remote system is now back to factory settings like it was straight out of the box. Okay, so this is how to remove uh, the M3 receiver, should you need to, from a ceiling fan. Lee's joined us and he's going to demonstrate that to us now. Just turn the power off for me, please. Certainly, so power off first, very importantly. So first of all, we're gonna remove the wires from the fan side of the remote, which is brown, orange, and blue. That is now free, it's come out. And we're going to remove the live and neutral only on the input side of the remote receiver. So we leave the earth wire connected. We leave the earth wire connected. Thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, please check out our website, fantasiaceilingfans.com for more helpful videos and we will see you next time. Make sure it's going to go in there properly. Yeah, it's better. Okay, ready? Yeah, so what we...